Well, joining us now is my favourite meteorologist, John Hammond. Now, John, I, have, I was just explaining to Andrew in the break why you are my favourite meteorologist. You and I had a, a very entertaining conversation last summer when you told me thousands of people would be dead in the streets because of the heat. <laughs> now, that clip of you and I... <laughs> look, he's upset already. That clip of you and I <laughs> went a bit viral. I was depicted as being an idiot. I didn't know what I was talking about. And I was a, clo a global warming denier, apparently. Now I'm going to be a global warming snow denier. Well, it's not that dangerous, is it, John? John. Now, Bev, are we going to play nicely this morning or aren't we? <laughs> yes, um, it is. It is going to. Yeah, you, I mean, you know what? I'm on your side. I'm on your side this morning regarding the snowfall. I think for many of us, um, it won't be as bad as perhaps it's being um, headlined about, across, especially across southern areas. I mean, yes, there's a warning out for southern England for tomorrow. Uh, and some places will see a covering of snow and some places will see a few centimetres. But I don't think it's going to cause the amount of disruption that, that some perhaps are suggesting. It's a different story, Bev, further north across the country. And I think here there will be major impacts as we go into mm -hmm. Thursday especially and up into uh, northern parts through Friday as well. So I think it's a story of two halves, Bev. Uh, for southern counties, yeah, nice picture postcard scenes of some snowfall perhaps through tomorrow, but for northern parts of the UK, and I'm talking about Wales, the Midlands, Northern England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, here I think there could be some major impacts later on this week with the B word, B for blizzards, I think being appropriate there later on this week. There you go. Well, as Andrew said, it's March. Yeah. It's March. How unusual is it to get temperatures this cold at this time of the year? Not as unusual as you might think. Although, yeah, we are sort of heading towards the spring equinox and people are thinking of uh, warmer days and, uh, and spring. Actually, there's a whole reservoir of Arctic air which has been freezing all through the winter and getting colder and colder and colder. And you only need a northerly wind for that uh, Arctic air to be unleashed across us. And that's, that's what's happening. Of course, it's, it's going to be even more of a shock to the system given how mild it's been through most of the winter. So some of us haven't seen any snowfall at all. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, a bit of a shock through March, yeah, because we don't normally associate March with snowfall. But is it that unusual? Not really. In fact, you can get snowfall at Easter some years. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I think for, for most of us, it'll be trivial, especially across southern counties, Bed, where, yeah, a couple of centimetres of snow ain't going to cause too much hassle. But further yeah. north across the country, Wales, the Midlands, northern England, northern Ireland, Scotland, Thursday, Friday looks shall we say, interesting. I think there will be impacts, and I think uh, for some of us, um, there will be some serious delays to travel. Bad news for families struggling with the cost of living crisis, because that means the heating that they perhaps thought they didn't have to put on in March is going to have to go back on, John. Yeah, that, that's right. Um, and actually, my charts, Andrew, for the next, well, week or so look cold. Now, you mentioned at the start that some places will have their coldest night of the winter so far. That's probably true, actually, across some glens of Scotland. We could get as low as, what, minus 12, minus 15, but more widely across the UK tonight, you know, minus five degrees. Uh, that's serious cold, and it's going to linger for several days to come. As you say, the, the, the fuel impact on our fuel bills will be significant. March is looking like a cold month. I know we're only at the 7th, but my charts indicate that that chilly air is going to stick with us really on and off for another week or two. So whereas December, January, February were actually a bit milder than average, March could buck the trend and be colder than you'd normally expect in a month. I'd rather be talking to you about hot weather, John. I, I don't, can't would. deny it. Well, the, it'll come. It'll come. Don't you worry. I'll see you again in the summer. <laughs>